Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once again. For today's recipe, I'm going to be using a few different French ingredients like this gorgeous butter, Dijon mustard, shallots, fleur de sel, all paired with this incredibly beautiful American Alaskan king crab. The inspiration behind this dish was created on my recent visit to Paris, France, thanks to my partner Taste France Magazine and the French Ministry of Agriculture and Food. They seriously tested my skills as a culinarian in a segment called the Mix and Match Challenge in which I had to guess what French and American ingredients were in each dish that the chef prepared for me. Also, they had me pair hand-selected wines for each dish and try to get as close to the sommelier's pairing recommendation as I could. I didn't do all that bad, but if you guys want to check out the video, the link will be in my description box below so you guys can go have a laugh at or with me. Anyways, today's recipe will be an elegant French-American combo presented as king crab croquettes with classic sauce bernays paired with this beautiful muscadette from Vignoble Gunther Chiro Vineyards in France. This one's going to be really, really good, guys, so let's dive into the recipe. All right, so the first thing to get started for this dish is the sauce Bernays. So grab a shallot, peel it, and give it a good mince. Next, you're gonna get a saucepan on low to medium heat, add a splash of canola oil to it, then sweat the minced shallots for about a minute or so, then you're gonna add in the chopped tarragon and a fresh crack of white pepper. Cook this for another minute or so, then it's time to add in the white wine, a splash of white wine vinegar, and then you're gonna reduce this down by about two thirds. Once the reduction is done, you're gonna remove it from the heat, let it cool down ever so slightly, then whisk in the egg yolk and slowly incorporate butter until you have a very thick and rich sauce. The amount of butter you will add will alter the thickness so you can choose your desired consistency as you go. But don't go too thick, otherwise the sauce will split since the yolks have a fat absorption limit when it comes to emulsification. Also, since I'm not using a water bath as a heat buffer, I carefully hover the pan over the flame and occasionally take it on and off so I don't end up scrambling the eggs. The sauce is more about slowly heating than it is cooking. When the sauce is done, make sure to cover it and keep it in a warm place and stir occasionally until your croquettes are finished. Now it is time for the crab. This is pretty straightforward as far as meat removal goes, but the most important thing here is to be aware of small tiny slivers of shell and cartilage in the meat. So just make sure to sift through the crab meat once or twice after you remove it from the shell. Side note here is if you're not super fast at this, I recommend putting your bowl of crab meat on ice as you work so it stays super chilled throughout the process. For the croquette mix, you're going to add in a generous amount of chopped parsley, sliced green onion, Dijon mustard, some homemade mayonnaise that I whipped up the other day, lemon zest, and some white pepper. Give this a good mix and add in a little bit of fresh lemon juice to finish. Um, I'm also not gonna be adding any salt to the mix since the crab has a good amount of salinity to it already. So just be aware of that as you prepare this type of dish. Next up in this recipe is a very traditional breading process, starting with flour, whipped eggs, and panko breadcrumbs. Again, I'm not going to be seasoning any of this uh, since I really want to be careful of salt through the recipe and want the crab to have a very clean ocean flavor when it's finished. As you make these croquettes, uh, just be really gentle and give it a good press when flouring and breading so it won't fall apart um, in the fryer, but will stay very, very tender on the plate. When the croquettes are finished, you're gonna fry them in a pot filled about halfway up with canola oil that's at 400 degrees Fahrenheit until they are a deep golden brown and piping hot in the center. These took around three to four minutes, but it will change slightly depending on how many you fry at one time. Once they're done, transfer the croquettes to a tray with some paper towels on it, and it's time to plate this up. 
All right, so to plate this, the first thing that goes down is the sauce bernays, then the fried croquettes, and finally a simple garnish of picked parsley and a pinch of fleur de sel on each croquette, and that's it. King crab croquettes with sauce bernays. This will all be paired with a crisp glass of Confluentia Muscadet from Vignoble Gunther Chirot Vineyards. <laughs> this was a blast to film. I love using French ingredients. Definitely my forte. If I were to make my choice on you know, a wide variety of ingredients that I'd use most often, definitely French would be a big category in that department. So like, like I said, I had a lot of fun making this. <laughs> Obviously, as you can tell, there's only two of these uh, croquettes left because my wife and my kids couldn't help themselves. And of course, I, I love sharing my food. So they got to enjoy the other three of the five that I made. Um, so that's why there's only two left. So, But I still have enough to test and uh, try it out run through the flavors with you guys and enjoy this beautiful pairing with the Vignoble Gunther Chereau wine. Um, that's the vineyard this comes from. Beautiful Muscadet. This is an easy, easy drinking wine, but I'm gonna taste test, pair it up, and um, tell you guys how I think. Crispy crust, doesn't get better than that. Good amount of that Bernays sauce. So many flavors I love. the muscadet, the king crab croquette. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Such a wonderful pairing. Crispy, fruity, very refreshing. Has a long finish, nice structured wine. Very, very easy just to drink it um, as just a, an easy table wine. Nothing too strong, nothing overbearing. It's gonna take away from either cheese or a light seafood dish, uh, but the croquette, this, this hits it on the head. Perfect pairing. Mm, 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 mm. This is definitely um, a dish that I would absolutely order at a restaurant um, if this was on the menu or a special. It would just pop right out to me. King crab croquette, I mean, that just sounds incredible. Especially put the Bernays on top. It is a winner. Beautiful dish. I have to thank Taste France Magazine for partnering with me on this recipe, the mix and match challenge out in Paris. I had so much fun being able to at least guess some of the things right um, with the mix and match challenge. If you guys haven't already seen it, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Got to see some amazing things as you guys saw in the intro, the Runjis Market, cheese making, wine tasting, wine making. Um, I mean, I could not have organized a better French trip in Paris for myself. So. Again, thanks to them. Of course, I gotta thank Vignoble's Gunther Charot, the vineyard that produces this beautiful muscadet, and this, this whole pairing just worked out better than I could have imagined. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you comment down below telling me what you guys liked about it. Of course, make sure you check out the mix and match challenge that I did out in Paris. Like I said earlier, it'll be in the description box below. I'll leave a link there. And uh, yeah, it was really, really fun to be with Taste France Magazine out there. Great group of people, can't say it enough. Leave a like, subscribe if you guys enjoy what I do here, and I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.